Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of January. Active convection may be severe weather tonight. Let's see what we've got here. Let's look at some of the sky cam shots around the network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Start with a view coming from Trustville, and it's back, the fog. Not everywhere, but where the fog has formed, it's pretty thick. That uh, Somewhere down there is Chalkville Mountain Road. Uh, look at the Gadsden sky cam. You can see the uh, the camera is above the fog, but that fog is nestled in the valley down there, covering up the city. And up in Hamilton, not a lot of fog, but it's raining up there in northwest Alabama at 5 o'clock. All right, upper low over the Texas Hill Country, progressing this way with active convection ahead of that. Looks like the really nasty stuff is down in the Gulf of Mexico. Peak of temperatures this morning, mostly 50s on the board for everybody. Birmingham at 57. We stay mild today, but, you know, around the nation, getting pretty cold up north and out west. Not, you know, bitterly cold, but it's seasonally cold. And we'll catch some of that by the end of the week. There's the radar at 458 this morning. Got a band of heavier rain from near uh, Uniontown down to about Fort Deposit south of here and north of here. Through parts of Lawrence and uh, Morgan counties, but... Uh, We'll maintain showers today, but the heavier storms uh, will probably come in here tonight. Here's a watch warning map. Pretty quiet. No major winter weather problems around the nation. There's the uh, dense fog uh, down here across parts of the southeastern states. But look at here now. All of a sudden, SPC has decided to yank the standard slight risk farther north today to basically include all of Mississippi and a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Uh, all of our states south of a line from Russellville to Cullman, uh, down to about Anniston. And, uh, of course, this is valid through tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, and it would seem like the better chance of any severe weather here would be from maybe 6 o'clock this evening until about 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow. And we'll talk about it in modeling here in a moment. And then tomorrow, low-end 5% severe weather chances east of here. Uh, that's after uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. One to two inches here. We figure most spots ought to get one inch between now and tomorrow at uh, midday. All right, this is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon today. This is the uh, map at 500 millibars where the pressure is uh, at that uh, level, and typically that's about eighteen to 20,000 feet off the ground. Got the big upper low over Texas, the northern branch sitting on the Canadian border, keeping the really cold air well north of here. And down below that at midday, you can see... Uh, uh, showers here with the more active convection possibly off to the west. But let's go to the RPM, the higher resolution look, and this is uh, just after midnight tonight. This is 1 a.m., and it's got uh, potential for pretty good convection here. Uh, and, and it seems to be that's going to be that main window uh, tonight, really after 9 o'clock, toward midnight, and then toward 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, tomorrow morning at 6, all that stuff's out of here, just some lingering showers. And by noon, things are quiet tomorrow. Take a look at uh, some more uh, modeling here. This is off the uh, HRRR, the Rapid Refresh. This is basically the new version of the RUC, uh, the Rapid Update Cycle. And this is valid uh, late this afternoon. This is at 5 o'clock local time. And uh, this is the storm relative helicity, 0 to 1 kilometers, the veering of the wind with altitude. And the numbers are pretty high right through here, as you can see. Uh, they're uh, at over uh, 250, 300 units in there. And that's the one thing we're going to have. It's plenty of shear. But the instability values are in question at the same hour, 5 o'clock. Look at that. That's the surface-based instability. There is none uh, based on this. So, you know, while the shear is there during the day today, the instability is not. We'll go to the uh, RPM late tonight. And there's that little tongue of instability coming up in through here. This is, again, uh, just after midnight at 1 a.m., 07Z. And uh, those numbers are uh, almost up to 1,000 joules in spots. And, you know, for a classic big event, you want to see those numbers over 2,500. But for the cold weather season, that's adequate for some severe storms. So, again, uh, you know, high shear, low cape. There could be a, a rotator in there somewhere. It might be an isolated tornado warning tonight, not a major threat. Uh also could see some storms with hail. The air loft is going to be cold, which is common during the cold weather season. And I'd say the core of the threat, probably 9 p 
p.m. to 3 a.m. if you want to get it down to a six-hour window. So we'll be watching. All right, tomorrow at uh, midday, surface low 1,000 millibars north of here. There could be some lingering showers. And really, you know, there's a cold pocket of loft coming in here, and there might even be some showers with small hail tomorrow uh, during the day, but not severe in the classic sense, no thunder. All right, Thursday, we've got the uh, Arctic front coming in, the polar front coming in. And uh, I, you know, I don't think we need to mention a shower there. I, I guess you might mention a slight chance, but uh, we'll call it partly sunny and cool with a high maybe around 50. And then Friday, the GFS is finally getting on the bandwagon. It's just had these bogus solutions, but now it's in good agreement with the European. It's got troughing over the east and uh, much colder air dropping in here. Uh, that would suggest a high in the uh, low 40s on Friday, which is more in line with the uh, European and that reflects our forecast pretty well. Saturday starting off the weekend, still a pretty good trough over the east. Some energy coming down the backside of that. And again, that's pretty cold on Saturday. That would suggest a high only in the 40s. We not, might, might need to shave the numbers down. And Saturday morning's going to be cold. Uh, we'll be down there in the uh, uh, probably 18 to 25 degree range early Saturday. Sunday, we start to warm up. We go back in the mid-50s after a cold morning. So uh, weekend will be dry. And, and notice that that... You know, the GFS kept trying to paint this big wave coming in here with all this heavy rain, and the European never did it. Well, look, now the GFS is on the board with the European solution. And, and of course, we discounted that wave all along. Uh, Monday of next week looks dry. And a week from today, here comes the next wave. And that's close to winter weather mischief over Tennessee, but uh, uh, around here just should be uh, wet, if that's right. We'll check the uh, end of the forecast, or toward the end of the forecast, 24th of January. Cold over the east. Cold air flooding the eastern uh, part of the nation. And on the next day, though, it just warms right back up. Like, we, you know, we've talked about this for days. The Arctic Oscillation wants to go negative and cold air leaves, but the NAO doesn't go negative, and it's just going to be hard to get cold air down here for any length of time until that decides to change. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.